Hey guys, later today I'm gonna have um, my veterinarian, Dr. Camp, come over and uh, actually perform my tail dockings here at the house at the Texas Rottweiler Ranch. Um, I just wanted to just talk a little bit about tail docking. Um, Rottweilers to dock or not to dock? That's kind of like been the question for years. People have asked me like, why did you dock a certain litter? Or why did you not dock this litter? Um, basically, throughout the years, people have asked that question, and it's usually just my preference on that litter. Um, I like Lilu and Dagger's litters to stay with a tail. A few other litters I have kept um, with a tail. I just prefer the tail. Um, I do buy some dogs that have their tails docked here in the United States, but most of my dogs recently have all came from um, overseas, and they've all came to me with their tails. Um natural because that's the way they do it there. Uh, it's, you really can't dock tails anywhere but the United States, I think. And um, so therefore that's why when I buy imports, they come to me with the tail. Um, a lot of the um, things people have said throughout the years is uh, they used to dock their tails because it would prevent them from getting their tail caught up in a cart. Or some people said that um, it prevented them from getting rabies by being bit in their tail. Um, some other things were, uh, people used to dock their tails because the, they would fight the dogs, which is a no-go. You never fight a dog. And, but that is some of the reasons, uh, throughout the years that people have done that, um, to dock their tails. Uh, some people, um, just do not want a dog with a tail. And so I do still dock some litters. Um, some of them I don't, but anyways... Uh, Dr. Kemp is going to come over this evening and actually show the procedure. A lot of people who actually have dogs as pets have never seen it be done before. It's not pleasant by no means. Um, my son went back when he was like 14, uh, took a litter to be docked for me, and he never had another litter be docked for himself ever again. He has a few litters here and there. Um, but he does not dock their tails because he watched the procedure and he does not want to have that happen again to any of his puppies, but that's fine. Um, so, um, another uh, few things, another few reasons are, uh, most dogs back in the day lived on farms. Uh, they didn't want the dog's tail to be stepped on by livestock and so forth. Um, also, other animals biting their tails is a reason why people would take their tails off. Um, I say to each their own, um, I prefer the natural look. Um, even though I still do dock tails, um, because that's what my customers want. I uh, don't know what the Texas Rottweiler Ranch is going to do in the future. It's probably going to be by demand um, because this is a business for me. And so if my customers want their pups without, then I'll probably still have litters without. Um, also, um, if you've ever been slapped in the face or the thighs by a Rottweiler like my dog Gil, his tail is extremely long and it feels like a whip whenever it hits you. Um, that's one other reason why people may um, have their uh, puppy without a tail. Um, most people that buy from me, their dogs are inside dogs. And so the tail wagging may knock over things in their home and break things. So it's like I said, to each their own. And so I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, I hope it's knowledgeable uh, for you guys. Uh, Dr. Camp is an excellent veterinarian, and he is my veterinarian. And so, if you have any questions or anything, you can put them in the comments. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, and I'll be back soon. Thanks. Bye. Uh, this here is Hemi. Hemi came from Alabama. Sean Brentley's kennel. Her tail is perfect. You can see that it is the perfect docking. And then we have Lilith. Lilo is from the Ukraine. Lilo is a hot mess. <laughs> she has her tail natural. She's nursing puppies right now, so she's looking a little scraggly. And that is one beautiful tail you've got there, lady. Whether you want your tail on or you want your tail off, I've got the perfect puppies for you. So.
What do you have? She has a glove. Timmy! Woo, beautiful tail. Beautiful tail docking. Great job. And then we have this little mess. Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama. Beautiful tail. Hey, guys. Deborah here, Texas Rottweiler Ranch, and we're here today with Dr. Ryan Camp. He is going to dock some Rottweiler tails today. All right, so we got three puppies we're going to do today, and we're going to do the tails and all floor dew claws if they've got them. Um, talking with talking with Deborah, we found out that um, some of these guys do have uh, double dew claws in the back. Watch your finger right there. They do have double dew claws in the back, which we talked about was quite a bit more common with some of the imports. Yes. And so, what's your finger? So what we do is we clamp it pretty short, and then we're gonna use a stirrup scalpel blade. And we'll take it off, take off the tail. Use a little medication called silver nitrate, and that's gonna stop any of the bleeding that wants to happen. And you'll see a lot of different ways that people do these things. There's probably as many different ways to do them as there are veterinarians that do them. Um, I've learned this over the years. A lot of times I like to put a, put a uh, suture in there because it, I think it really makes it a little bit more cosmetic. It kind of brings those skin edges together really nicely. They don't have nearly as much scar tissue. Yes, all the tails he's done for us here at the Texas Rottweiler Ranch have been perfect. And this is dissolvable suture. So we put one in there and then we, it would dissolve, but honestly, most of the time, if, if mom is still with them, she's going to uh, usually clean them so much that eventually she'll just sort of dissolve it on its own, usually within a week or so. So it doesn't take long. I'm gonna put just a little drop of glue on the skin edges, just so everything kind of seals nicely. And that should be good on the tail. We'll go up here and check the rear feet first. On this side, we've got, there's nothing on this right foot, so we don't have one here, but you see on this foot, we've got the first digit, which would be kind of their thumb. And this one's pretty loose, it's not even really attached. So what we do is just take it down right there. Put a little drop of glue on it. And you hear a lot of people are concerned about, you know, the the discomfort that it causes these puppies. Um, there's a certain, there's an age, there's an age range you want to do. You don't want to do these guys any older than three days because what will happen is when they're this age, they only register pain for a very short period of time. So as I'm doing this, a lot of times you'll see they'll react just a little bit when we actually do the removal. And then after that, in most cases, you'll see by the time we put them back in the box, they're really not making very much noise at all. And in most cases, uh, we see that it, immediately after this, if you go ahead and give them a bottle, usually they're, like right now, this one's trying to nurse on my finger, so. Awesome. This one's more concerned about getting supper than it is about what we're doing to it. Right. I know, I know. All right, next contestant here. This little girl. Oh, and so on the rotties, we always we want them to have that nice short rotty tail. But we do want to leave just a little bit of a tail on there. We generally try to leave one to two vertebrae. So that way whenever they clamp their tail down, they've got just enough of a little tail to protect their, their bottom there. Perfect. If you take them all the way down as short as you can, you can cause some harm to some of the nerves. And so to make sure they don't have any difficulties, we usually leave one or two vertebrae.
And this little girl doesn't have any rear dew claws. So she was born without those little ones on the back. So we'll just go up here and get these front ones. something to eat, aren't you? Is that the smallest one? She is like... I think she is, yeah. Yeah, the biggest eater out of the three. <laughs> well, I guess she's got some making up to do, right? <laughs> you can see that one that we already did is already back in here asleep. Sound asleep. More little girl. Mad. <laughs> this little girl doesn't have any on the rear either. So just two for you. So we go back and just check and make sure nobody's having any sort of bleeding issues. Make sure everybody's clotting nicely. Make sure everybody looks good. Yeah, looks good. Awesome. Uh, Dr. Ryan Camp is in Maple, Texas. So if you guys are in the area, and you need a great vet, uh, you can call them. What's your number? 936-222-0753. And he's helped us out a lot so far here, and he is my vet. Thanks guys, have a good day.